We seem to be so fascinated by the world's dysfunction. And my question is, why? The world's dysfunction is a normal phenomenon. But when we that are called out from among them start acting like them again, then that's a real dysfunctional spiritual phenomenon. Remember the story of Jesus when he was sitting down and the woman that was caught in adultery was brought to him? Jesus thought for a moment and then replied, he that is without sin among you, let him cast the first stone at her. The people crowded around him were so touched in their own conscience that they up and left. When Jesus found himself alone with the woman, he asked her who her accusers were. Because basically there was nobody else around. I have nothing but love for Kirk and anyone else that seems to be misfiring on a few cylinders. We all have had our time of misfiring, but instead of picking the rocks, let's pray for one another. We are the church that people are looking at, not that physical building we attend once or twice a month. This is my take on Kirk. And for all you that are out there that has blown up the video by watching it, it hurts my heart, but I love you, my brother. God loves you. And he that is without sin among you, let him or her cast the first stone. It takes a moment to talk about someone, but it takes less time to pray. Prayers are what's needed, not a colorful spiritual commentary as to why. Jesus didn't even ask why. In fact, we don't even know what he wrote in the dirt. But what we do know is that everyone that was standing around accusing and pointing fingers left after he enlightened them on their own personal issues. So, church folk, before you point fingers and accuse, examine yourself first. The woman caught in the act really needed a saved friend. She found one in Jesus. Those of you that are of the body of Christ, try to be that saved friend. Kirk, I'm saved and I'll be your friend if you need one. I'm praying for you and many others that are in a night season. Be blessed.